but are you concerned that under the in the undergrowth of this election there are trends that might make that do make some mainstream politicians concerned whether or that whether or not that's you losing the support in many Muslim communities or whether it's Nigel Farage scooping up votes with his reform party because he was taking votes from Labour people who had voted Labour previously as well as from the Conservatives and he says he's coming after you are you concerned about some of the trends that we saw in the weeds of the election, if you well, like? Of course, we've got an outstanding mandate, but of course we take seriously and we'll analyse those results. I did meet in this election good people who were telling me they were thinking about voting reform. That doesn't mean reform are good people. When you were able to tell people, well, look, this is what they believe. They support the economic policies of Liz Truss. They support the foreign policies of Vladimir Putin. People are horrified. But now a party like Reform, now it has members of parliament, will come under the kind of scrutiny mm -hmm. which they maybe always should have come under. And they will find that very difficult. And we will come for them. We will tell people what their agenda would mean for their economic security, for their national security. And we'll relish that argument because we know we're in the right place. And a party like Reform is frankly not. Do you think they're not good people? You, you, you hinted they were not good people. I, I think the people who voted Reform are good people, often didn't know the full agenda of reform. I've got to be frank, backing the Kremlin's position in Ukraine is not in the national interest of the United Kingdom.